is out of me. You better watch out if you ignite him. He's a road ahead of full prophecy to be the greatest beast the world has ever seen. I feed him every day like the bones clean. I feed him all the hate and he grows me. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I know it's actually been a minute or two, but the other video that you've watched, the WL Toys model, it took ages to edit, ages to upload. We were having troubles with internet, troubles with other things, but anyway, less of that. So this video is all about the bodged Baja. Nah, jokes, we don't call it a Baja around it. It's the bodged Badger, it's the HPI Badger, but well, this is my mates and brothers, well, cameramans and brothers, RC car. It is the bodged version. It's an absolute shit hole, to be honest with you, but you know, they think it's good. I don't, they've converted it to electric, but anyway, I'll show you around today. Chuck it here, like. So, as you can see, it's uh, got cracked little rims, but that's not a problem. It's a bit dusty because we took it to the quarry because it's not ran for a bit, so just wanted to make sure it ran before. But this is overall. It's got symmetrical steering on it, so it should be actually good at steering. It runs on 8S. It's got cable ties, though, holding the servo box down. Look at this wiring. This is why it's the Bodge Badger. Because it's absolutely shocking. It hasn't got any Velcro for the LiPo, so they're either loose or good old cable tied together. It's got screws missing here and there. Let me show you the motor. That's the, it's a Hobby Wing, what is it, lad? Max 6 wing. It's the Hobby Wing Max 6, if anyone couldn't hear that. Uh, it's got wire because it's got light bar on the back on the back but that doesn't work electrical tape here and there let me get a better shot oh yeah it's got cable ties holding the spoiler on as well uh, other than that oh, I don't know why this pin looks like it's falling out but there's a pin that looks like so that's the motor like I said hobby wing max 6 and yeah it's got a lot of power so we're gonna do speed runs so we've got this sky gps so we're gonna do speed runs it does actually i did say it runs on 8s so it does but it's two 4s packs just to clarify and uh yeah it's not got a gear cover it's just a bit like i said it's a bit it's a bit podged in it but it is what it is it should work we're gonna do a review let you know what it's like so i've got the petrol version I prefer petrol, but these are running it as a flux version, so, you know, we're going to hit the jumps, POVs, basically just have a bit of fun, probably put, drive it until it basically either dies or the batteries run out. I'll let you know at the end what my opinion is, if it, what I think it should get upgraded, but at the end of the day, it's not my RC, so it's up to the cameraman and my brother if they want to upgrade it. So, we'll bring you back when we're ready to bash it. Right guys, we're at first location now. Just saying like, look, can you even see this aerial? It's just fucking flopping about, mate. We're gonna just do, get a feel for the car first. We'll see what it's like. It did just run away in the garden, but that's a different story. So we'll give it, you know, we'll just see what it's like first, then do some POVs, might hit the jumps, and then we'll see how quick it is. We'll just have a mess around and see what I think of it. So.
going to do the Sky RC speed run. We'll click start if it wanted to work. There we go. Right. Go on then, lad. It's the cameraman's driving, so not me. Ready? Yep. Oh. It it. Sent it into a tree. Right, we'll have a quick look. <laughs> 23 miles per hour. Right, we're gonna do two another take. So Oh the GP does anyone else's Sky RC keep doing this? Disconnect. It it just keeps disconnecting mine does. Sorry about the glare I'm trying to So mine keeps di disconnecting at the top. So it won't actually it doesn't let me. And then you have to wait a minute and it, it comes back, so it comes back at like six, seven 10 sometimes but so as you can see there's zero at the moment I just want to know if it's broken so because like now it won't let me do it I don't know let us know in the comments below because it's really starting to annoy me I bought it off someone on Facebook and I don't know if it's broken or not so hopefully the signal will come back so we can do another pass because the cameraman's a bit annoyed now it only it only got to 24. It's not even as quick as my X-Max. My X-Max hit 50. And this has got the same power, just only it's rear-wheel drive and not four-wheel drive. That was just us messing about. See, the signal's still. There we go, it's back now. So if I do that, yep, so I believe you click that. Yeah, go on, one. And they go to there. It says 20, 21. 21. But it won't let me click anything else. Read. And he fully loses signal at that. Is that right? Because I don't think that's how the Sky GPS should work, but... It's Sky RC, most speedruns use it, so let me know in the comments below if that's how it's meant to work or not, because I don't think it is. But please, let us know. Look. So he's bringing it back now. I don't know. Yeah, Bluetooth don't reach. I don't know. Let me know in the comments, Is because I don't think that's how it's meant to work. Is this Sky RC a dud? Or is it good? I'm saying it's a dud because it's giving false readings. <laughs> I think it's a dud as well, but it best not be because I bought it. So like now, as you can see, it's still got no signal. Doesn't let you join. Don't let you do it. You click track, don't work. Click start. Won't work because it's got no signal. So now, right, now we're on six. So if I click track, obviously that goes red. The speed comes here. So we'll do another pass. Okay. This is on tarmac, so it might spin a bit. And as you can see, it just says 24 miles per hour, 29 feet, but it's fully lost all status status sorry it's lost all signal whatsoever can't click start can't do anything so i don't know what do you reckon put it in the comments below cameraman's just going to get in the car the quickest it's hitting is 24 so i don't know 
Let me know in the comments anyway. Hello guys, welcome back. So, we've just come back from filming the review of the AS Badger. I know it's meant to say the AS Baja, but like I said, we don't say Baja around here, we say Badger. Because I think it sounds better. Comment below what you think sounds better. But anyway, so, this one has symmetrical steering, which I personally think is a must-have if you have a Badger. Because I've, not, I've got a 5B that hasn't got it, and I've got a 5SC that you've probably not seen yet that it has got it so keep an eye on the video as well by the way 5SC is coming out very soon uh, if you also want a video about the flux versus the two stroke both 5Bs we can do speed runs we can do tests we can do all sorts comment below if you want that as well because we can get it going because I've got one and these have obviously got this flux one uh, the GPS thing I'm not really sure what's cracking with that so I can't really do speed runs because it keeps disconnecting Hoping we can get that sorted real soon. I'm gonna phone Model Sport to see what's cracking with that. So I'm not too sure why it keeps disconnecting. And yeah, all I can say about this one, to be fair, it's got a lot of power. You need it on grass. You can't have it on concrete or rough. It on concrete because it spins out straight away. You can't have it on like gravel because it just spins. You need it on grass. On grass, it's perfect. It's got a lot of power. And yeah, basically it flies. I wouldn't say it's durable because I personally don't think HPI are durable, but it hasn't broke, has it? So we can't really say too much. The problem, obviously, you'll, you'll see is the grass collects a lot on these badgers. They're just not great for it. I suffer through having the, even the mud flaps on my 5B, it still connects them. So it's, it just collects grass on the drive shaft, so you have to cut it all off. It's just a pain in the arse, to be honest with you. It's the worst design ever, but hey, who am I to judge? So if you like the video, like and subscribe. Hope to see you on the next one. Smash it, let's go. So as you could see, we had a bit of an accident earlier. I did say earlier on in the video that we had a runaway because the cameraman turned the controller off and his car just full pellet just shot off. So as you can see just then, it left quite bad skid marks. So, and trust me, after seeing that, you don't want this car come flying at you. This is a leg breaker. This would take your legs clean out. So, what a day to be in a wheelchair, that's all I'm gonna say. You better watch out if you ignite him, he's a road ahead of full prophecy To be the greatest beast the world has ever seen I feed him every day like the bones clean I feed him all the hate and he grows me and he gets caught